See ya. See ya. Be good, I'll see you at here at 3 o'clock. Round about, so if I'm a little bit late, just wait for me. Yep. Oh. Have a good one, mate. Yep, see ya. Bye bye. bye In those days, the 60s and 70s, there was um, school was completely different. Um, we never told the teachers. It's not the sort of thing you do. Um, so the only choice you had back in the 60s and 70s was grin and bear it. Um, we had to do sport. You'd be out there on the cricket field, and of course in those days there was no hats, and you certainly wouldn't wear gloves. So you were stuck out there on the middle of the oval for perhaps an hour or so, I can't remember, it was too for me, I just can't remember how long I was taking out there for, hell of a long time. I deliberately sabotage the play floor possible so that people would either leave me so late to pick me on their teams that they, I'd either be perhaps the odd one out and they wouldn't pick me, I think, thank God for that, and I can stay under a tree or something. whole body is in pain, you know, a deep, burning, stinging pain. You've got two options, one is to go insane, lose control, the other one is to centre yourself, go within and let the pain dwell on the outside, separate yourself from the pain. That's about the best way I can describe it probably is to separate yourself from it, which is not necessarily easy. I had a school sports carnival uh, a week ago today actually. Um, <coughs> it's really difficult to be around you know, 500 kids and, and be rugged up like Lawrence of Arabia um, for a number of reasons. You don't want to scare the kids <laughs> and you don't really want to attract unto your attention for your, for your own child, you know, make them you know, the butt of any jokes and things so you have to just grit your teeth and bear it. So I certainly paid for that. My hands are still, you know, a week later my hands are um, still sensitive and my face is still burnt. You probably can't see it, but my nose and my cheeks are quite burnt from that day. Out, you know, probably six hours, sort of. And it was an overcast day. It was quite a pleasant day you know, for most people. I need to cover up completely. I can't, my face can't handle, you know, what I've been doing the last couple of days, can't handle for too much longer. So I need to, to rug up properly. What this does is actually um, gets the glare off my face. Many people probably need to do this, you know, many people with EPP probably need to do this as a rule, I suspect. It's actually slipping down at the moment, I can't do this for too much longer. But, um... One of the major reasons I took up nursing was to, to get out of the city, to work in the bush and be at Ramonian indoors, a bit like a, a sort of a portable workplace. Um, nursing is good, you can usually stay indoors, but sort of like anything when you finally get on the, <coughs> on the shop floor, there are some downsides, for example, um, taking people out on outings or t doing transports, um, the soaps we use in nursing, the soaps, I, I can't use normal soaps. Um, um, the last couple of years I've just done nothing but, or a year or two, I, I can't remember, uh, nothing but night shift. Um, it's much more comfortable. I can, yeah, physically comfortable. The social aspects are, are very difficult. Being a dad and trying to have any sort of social life, um, night shift is basically just a, the same as having porphyria. You, um, you live at night and you, you don't get to socialise very much. But you do often get scoffers. Um, they say, "Oh, you know, bull dust. You know, I burn worse than you." And um, you know, rubbish. You've only been outside. You've only gone down the kiosk to get a sandwich. You know, what are you talking about, you idiot? Sort of thing. Mum and Dad, they've had me for 50 years. Um, they're not aware of it either. Um, I'll even um, they, they sometimes are a tiny bit surprised, or they they forget. Pop down the beach and. Um, they want to sit out in the sun to have a picnic, for example, so even the, the intimate family uh, are fairly unaware of it. Um, very, very frustrating. Um, 
or bang your head against a brick wall. Being here in this potentially gorgeous park, um, but not being able to to walk around in comfort, which I believe most people can do. Um, I've never experienced that, or I certainly can't remember from before I was five years old. Um, being able to walk around in comfort must be so extraordinarily wonderful. Um, to be able to jump out there and play. Um, you know, play football with my son would be a wonderful experience. <laughs>